y'all. Today we're going to talk about the Agriculture Science Pathways and the FFA. I'm Caitlin Darden, a senior and the current Anna FFA officer and Agriculture Science student. There are three major pathways that you can pursue within the Agriculture Science Program of Study. Being an FFA member gives you several options and opportunities. For example, an FFA member can participate and compete in the following. Showing animals, ag mechanics, horticulture projects, attend meetings and conventions, travel across the state to judging and speaking contests, serve in leadership positions, and even get scholarships for college. Just look at some of these pictures of our members over the years. From showing to parades and fairs, we are constantly doing something and having fun. If you have any questions about agriculture courses or the FFA, please reach out to any of the ag teachers or any FFA member. We would love to answer any questions you may have. It is the greatest experience. I like being in the AB program. It's really fun. We make movies. You learn lots of things about like the industry. Behind the scenes of like your favorite movies, what they do on screen and off screen. You learn a lot about computers, how to do things in Premiere. Learn a lot of people skills. And you know how to like get on a schedule. You learn how to adapt pretty quickly. You can do the sound, you can do the writing, you can do the editing, you can do the camera. If you're a great writer, you're automatically made for AV. If you're great with editing, you're automatically made for AV. If you just love listening to music and want to try making your own music, you're automatically for AV. You see it like, you know, bloom into something that's pretty interesting and amazing. The freedom and like how independent you have to be once you start on a project, like it's your project. I never thought I would be on the announcements because like that's not my vibe, but now it's like I love it so much and it's really fun. So I'm glad I started doing it. Hang up late and editing. And Ultimately, they become your family. Some of the closest people I have in my life are in AV. Everybody in graphic design is really nice and the teachers are super helpful down there. I've always loved art and so it's been a great way for me to express that and put it towards creating things for other people. I like that I get to express myself and then I get to learn stuff from others. I've learned how to do a lot of cool things. You learn how to work in the groups, you learn how to do projects with others and work well with others. It can help you with build all those communication skills. It can help you learn a lot about technology. I've stemmed out from Illustrator and Photoshop and went to like dimensions and after effects. We have a lot of tools down there in the maker space that you can use. It helps you build up your skills for business because when you get it like an order in you have to manage your time and make sure the client gets what they want. It's just a process to see from what your ideas and the other person's ideas are and coming together you make something really cool. It just helps you out in the real world. So I grew to love it a lot more than I thought I would so now I go home every day and I have the software and I take my work home because I genuinely enjoy it. It gives you the chance to just be yourself in there. I see myself actually pursuing a career in it too. Sophomore year we took child development and in that class we learned about the stages of pregnancy and how to take care of a infant and a toddler. Also, you learn how to take care of young children all the way up to their teen years and just learn basic needs and cognitive skills. What kind of person would enjoy being in health science classes? Um, really anyone who wants to help other people, like whenever they're sick, they always want to help. Um, what kind of stuff have you learned in your health science classes? Um, I have learned that, like a lot of the diseases that people could get, uh, different types of medicine. And when we go to clinicals, we go to actual doctor's office or dentist's office, and we actually get to intern there for a little while and learn for, for, from professionals to actually work there and actually have a degree. And we actually get to learn about the job experiences and actually see what they do. And if it piques our interest, we can pursue that field. Why would you take the CCMA program in high school rather than in college? Well, it's actually a lot cheaper to get in high school instead of college. If you take it in high school, um, you're actually going to be able to come out. Instead of making minimum wage out of high school, you can start off by making $15 an hour instead, which from a high school, that's pretty big. Uh, this was our field trip to Huntsville. This is our patch project. Uh, we collected 162 from 48 states and four countries, missing only two states, and a free 100 for the first patch collected. Practicum of Business Management or your dual credit business management class is what I am taking. 
In this class, you have one period where you are outside of the class, either helping in the library or in the makerspace or any uh, new area that we get into school if you come in here at that time. When you help, you will learn uh, how to work efficiently with the small amount of time that you have in that period. We have right now 50 minute uh, class period times. You may have different shorter time periods and we'll help you learn to set up your work's time schedule. Putting together a, this thing called a trammeltoy, and it moves in a circular motion. And it's a little, it's a little crazy, but 3D printing isn't always perfect. So we we model these in our engineering notebooks that are very important, and then we take those measurements, or we measure it, and then we take the measurements and put them into a 3D CAD modeling system called Fusion 360. And this is where. We put all of our designs in and we make everything, and this is the files we use to 3D print everything. This is called an automata. It's used to study motion. These pieces in here that you 3D model, so we're going to measure them. And then on the front, it has all of the graphs for the motion. And this is Fusion 360, and then this is one of our measurements that has been 3D printed. And also, there's that one. In class this year, uh, we've actually made uh, a glider out of bronco wood, and we press glue it, um, and that was, that was really fun. Uh, and we also did a flight simulator, or I'm sorry, uh, air traffic control simulator, uh, where we had to, uh, where the planes would start out on these paths, and we would have to time it and not make them crash and land on their destination. Uh, one thing we did also is uh, go into a realistic flight simulator and fly from Colorado Springs in Colorado to Denver, uh, the capital. It takes around 30 minutes. It's really cool and fun. We're working in a software called KHS in computer science. And right now we're coding in Python. There's some stuff we've been working on so far. So right now we've got an example of some code that when run, draws a snowman. Uh, right here, we've got some code that will draw a circle, and then whenever someone hits the keyboard, either the left or the right arrow, it either grows or shrinks. And then, for our last one, we've got some code that when run, if we click on the screen, it draws rectangles in different places.